Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting a series here on my channel that I think is going to be really fun, especially for those of you who are around my age range, you know, in your early 30s or so, maybe even like your late 20s. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing a series trying foods that I can still find from my childhood. So the 1990s, everything 90s, I'm going to try and find and see if they still have today. Of course, most things by now, since it's 2018, some things have changed a little bit. I'm sure they're not exactly like what they were in the 90s, but I'm just gonna be trying different things I used to love as a kid and see what I think of them now. So today I figured I would start off with one of my all-time favorite things when I was a kid. I used to love them. I would get so excited when my mom would buy me them. And now, like as an adult buying them, I'm kind of like, this crap <laughs> you know but um yeah so today we're going to be trying out an old favorite of mine kid cuisine these are for those of you who don't know these are frozen dinners they're kind of marketed toward kids obviously kid cuisine um the box hasn't changed all that much since when i was a kid it pretty much looks the same. The other thing that's different, like this is one that I used to get a lot when I was a kid, the chicken fingers, macaroni and cheese, corn, and um, pudding. Sometimes it would be a brownie, I think. But now they have like a cookie spoon in it, which they did not have that when I was a kid. So that's an improvement. But all the other kid cuisines I saw were things that they did not have when I was a kid. But this was like the OG one that I used to get. So that's why we're gonna be trying it out today. So I'm honestly even scared to look at the nutritional facts because it probably just has none. Um, let me see if I can do this. Uh, Alright, I think it's focused now. So you guys might be able to see. I'm trying to get it so there's no glare. You can pause it if you want to. There's like the ingredients list. I apologize for the glare. I know it sucks, but there's that. So this is what the back of the box looks like. Just like this. Like I said, really marketed for kids. Thus, kid cuisine. So for the directions, it says remove film, remove chicken nuggets and cookie spoon, microwave meal on high for a minute, stir macaroni and cheese and replace the nuggets, microwave an additional two to two and a half minutes, then check to see if it is cooked. If not, you can, I guess, do more. Um, stir the macaroni and cheese, stir your pudding, and there we go. I don't remember there being that many steps when I was a kid. Um, it used to be just you threw it in the microwave boop boop and done you know um but yeah all right so i'm gonna open this up and i'll show you guys what it looks like inside we'll see if it looks how i remember it now because i know that there's gonna be some people out there who are gonna be like oh my god that stuff is so horrible you shouldn't be eating that i know that <laughs> that's why i don't eat it anymore but you know for those of us who were 90s kids this is our childhood this is what we grew up with and you know this one little thing here this is not gonna kill me right now. I'll be okay. I don't eat these. You know, this is the first time I've had one of these in 20 years, give or take, you know? Um, yeah, so we're good. Thanks for the concern, but we're good. So let's get going. Alright, so here's what it looks like after I just took out of the box. It looks spot on as how I remember it. Same type of tray, same setup of everything. I do see there's like one little macaroni piece here that tried to escape but didn't get very far. But yeah, so it looks about the same. Like I said, the only difference is this little cookie spoon. We did not have this when I was a kid in the 90s. So otherwise than that, it looks the same. So I'm going to do the instructions to heat this up and I'll be back when it is nice and warm and toasty. Alright guys, so here is what the meal looks like just out of the microwave. It looks and smells exactly as it did in the 1990s. So the only one thing that I'm going to be adding into this is some barbecue sauce. I always used to eat my chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce, so to make it authentic to how I had this in the 90s, that's what I'm going to do. So here's what the chicken nugget looks like. It looks exactly as I remember as a kid, so here we go. It 
it tastes exactly the same as I remember. It's just like your generic processed chicken nugget. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to try the corn. So, it's pretty much just your basic corn. So, again, not expecting anything mind-blowing here, but here we go. It tastes exactly as I remember as a kid. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. Like even canned corn, I know, has a lot more flavor than what this one has. Um, to me when I was a kid, it always tasted very like watered down and it still tastes like that. So that has completely stayed the same. Nothing's changed exactly as I remember. Next thing here, I have the macaroni and cheese. When I was a kid, I used to love this stuff. And now I'm actually kind of afraid because I know as a kid, I ate a lot of the like craft macaroni and cheese, so this was probably, you know, wicked good to me. But now as an adult, where I make my own, you know, from scratch, you know, I don't know, but we'll see. Not much flavor there at all. It, it does taste how it did when I was a kid. For some reason I loved it like that because it is like a little bit better than you know, the craft, you know, in a box stuff, but to my standards now as an adult, mm -mm. So they have this little spoon here for the pudding, which they didn't have that when I was a kid. So I'm not gonna use it because I didn't have that in the 90s. So I'm just gonna try it just as is. When I was a kid, I loved this stuff because I just loved how it was heated up. It tasted so good. So let's see if it's as good as I remember. Yep. That still tastes good to me. It tastes exactly the same. So delicious. I don't know what it is, but right there. So good. So for this whole series, we're going to be having two sets of ratings here. The first one is going to be how does it compare to how the item tasted in the 90s and also what do I think of it now as an adult. So two different ratings. So let's see how I'm going to rate this one. So for kids cuisine, how does it compare to how it tasted in the 90s? I'm going to give that a five out of five stars. It tastes exactly as I remember as a child. Everything is pretty much spot on, so five out of five stars for that. So now for the second rating, and this is going to be just a simple yes or no. Would I buy this again being an adult? My answer for the kids' cuisine is no. I mean, yes, it's nostalgic, it reminds me of childhood, but I can make this stuff myself from scratch a whole lot better, so that is what I'd stick to. So no, I would not try this again as an adult. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so excited to keep continuing on with this whole series I'm going to be doing. It just sounds like so much fun to me and I'm excited to see what is still around from my childhood. So if any of you guys are 1990s kids or if you are a parent in the 1990s and you remember what you used to buy your kids, leave a comment down below and let me know some things because I know there are going to be items that I probably had and I just forgot about. So if you know of any ideas, leave your comments down below. I greatly appreciate it. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.